Hi, so in this experiment we are going to explain molecules and atoms and electrically or electric positive electric and positive charges and polarized charges. So what we're gonna do, we are going to put salt on a plate. And then we're gonna put some pepper on the plate. Like so. And then we're gonna take this balloon and I'm gonna rub it on my hair and then we're gonna see what it does. And we can see that it pulled up a lot of the pepper. Um, so first I'm going to kind of go over um, molecules and atoms, which are um, part of our in um, it's in um, in our everyday materials we see in our everyday life, um, where each atom is made up of negatively charged electrons surrounding positively charged protons that are in the center of the atom. Got pepper everywhere. Um, generally, materials we touch are electrically balanced, meaning that in total the positive and negative charges balance each other out, so the materials have no overall net charge, um, which is why things don't happen like how the balloon brought up the pepper. Um, static electricity occurs when two materials such as hair and plastic, like the or are rub when hair and like rubber or whatever are rubbed together or repeatedly put together and separated. This movement it like rips the electrons off one material and moves them to the other like it's ripping my electrons from the hair and moving it to the balloon and that's why the hair was attracting to the balloon or like the salt was attracting to the um, balloon so what time is that one receives extra, an extra electron and becomes negatively charged whereas the other loses electrons and is um, becomes positively charged so opposing electron or electric charges like plus and minus attract each other, whereas identical charges minus minus and plus and plus repel each other. This explains why the hair is attracted to the balloon after I've already kind of like I already have gone over. Um, but it this the minus minus plus and plus doesn't really explain why like the salt and the pepper attracted to the balloon because they're they don't have an electric charge. Um, well, this happens because they can be electrically polarized. When you put an electrically charged rubber balloon next to another material, the other becomes electrically polarized. Um, the electrons move according to the force applied by the charged balloon. It, so if the balloon is negatively charged, electrons in the material are repelled. So the part closer to the balloon, like the pepper, um, it's slightly poorer in electrons and is slightly positively charged, even though the whole net charge of the material is technically still zero. Um, so the result in all of this is that an electrical force will attract the balloon in the section um, of the material nearest to it. So both salt and pepper grains are attracted to the balloon but we only saw the pepper, but the, the closer we got, the balloon started to attract the salt too. Um, but the reason the pepper mainly attracted to the balloon is explained by gravity. So gravity plays a pretty, it plays a big role in this experiment, especially because it de determines which grains stick to the balloon and which stay on the plate. So the mass of pepper grains is smaller than salt grains, so they are the lighter ones, so they're more likely to be attracted to the balloon, and that's why a greater distance is the pepper will bring up 
but at smaller distances, salt would come too. So at smaller distances, the electric force may be a little bit larger, and so it also attracts the salt grains. Um, so yeah, that explains uh, positive, negative, and polarized molecules, and why our experiment did what it did. Thank you.